Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Within. Uh, in the last episode, I'm pretty sure we set up festival preparations, or at least we were going to do, we're doing festival preparations. We were choosing who is going to hang out with who, or whom, for that matter. <laughs> so we decided to do that. We we're figuring that out. Um, and of course, in typical uh specific mod fashion <laughs> specific route fashion we somehow got wound up working helping monica this weekend even though she needed like the least amount of help so i don't really know why we're helping monica it, it kind of just made mc kind of seem like an asshole to the rest of the club honestly <laughs> but but i mean hey i mean do i expect much from this mc not really <laughs> not really but yeah uh, I think that was about it. I don't think anything else important really happened. Oh, I guess we got confirmation that Monica likes him too, but we kind of already knew that. That was that happened before. Uh, yeah, she t she was all like, I mean, oh yeah, Monica said she was gonna confess today, right? So Monica told herself she was gonna confess. So basically, let's see what happens, shall we? It's already Sunday. I wake up early to make sure I have enough time to wash and clean up before Monica gets here. Look at the clock on my phone. It's just gone five. Definitely got time. I get up and immediately head to the bathroom. The water seems a bit cooler this morning. Over the duration of my shower, my thoughts are dominated with everything that could happen. What's Monica going to be like outside of school? Are we going to make a good team? I ask myself those questions and more over and over again. I also think over my feelings. Should I? No, that'd be stupid. I grumble aloud to myself. Yeah, it does kind of seem like it's a dumb thing to do. But the more I think over it, maybe I could ask? Ask what? I, you didn't finish that thought. Oh, it was like, should I tell her? Okay, that's what I was supposed to be. When the time's right. I confirm to myself. After a, couple, after a couple more minutes, I turn the shower off and get out to dry myself. I like how he was like, do we make a good team? Even though it's like, aren't you just like making pamphlets? <laughs> we need to make a good team to make pamphlets. Like, it's the only thing that's that much hard work to make pamphlets. As for clothes, I don't really have much of a selection to go for. So I just pick out some black jeans and a white shirt. I look like I'd be a side character in my own anime. Not gonna lie. After making sure my hair doesn't look like an utter mess, I down for a quick breakfast. I down for a quick breakfast? He downs. I down for a quick breakfast. He sure does. I'm looking at the clock, I notice it's just past six now. I don't remember being in the shower for that long. Wait, past six? Wait, what? 6 p.m.? Or 6 a.m.? What time is it? <laughs> he woke up in the morning, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, he said, uh... I look at the clock, it just gone 5, definitely got time, okay, so he's, oh, he woke up early, okay, so it is 6am, I was gonna say, I was like, 6pm? You guys working at night? <laughs> Where did the day go? <laughs> Alright. Regardless of that, I know I still have a good while before Monica gets here. She says she'd be, she says she, she said she should be around by 10. You woke up four hours early? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I woke up four, actually five hours early? What the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> Bro, you're just making pamphlets. Chill. I'd say that's way too early to be up on Sunday, but I can't really say anything now, can I? We ended up texting more than I thought we would. Obviously, the big topic was the festival. It's honestly pretty cute how prep, how prep for it is she, pra, how prepped for it she is. Aside from that, we ended up gushing over, surprisingly enough, synthesizers. Never took her as the kind of person to be into the electronic side of things, but I'm sure as hell not complaining. I'm so slightly nervous about her coming over. Who am I kidding? I'm nervous as fuck. Ah, I just remembered the mod. <laughs> I just remembered what mod we're playing. He's a perfectionist. Is he, though? <laughs> is he really? Like, I guess it's to show how nervous he is about her coming over, but it's like, I don't know, five hours early nervous? Just shy of four hours later. The sound of my doorbell catches my attention. Oh, that was a transition. Oh. 
<laughs> I was so confused. I was like, was he saying this? And I'm like, oh, this was a transition. Oh, that's that's confusing. <laughs> that, that, that needs the... And the sound of my doorbell catches my attention. I get up and quickly glance at my phone. 9.48 a.m. I make my way to the door and open it. Okay, now they're using Dissolve Scene full too much. <laughs> Before I was like, actually no, I think they've been using it too much. <laughs> hey, Zero. Monica beams at me. Hey, Monica. Ah, she beamed at me. <laughs> I smile back at her, trying hard to contain a blush. She looks stunning. Take a minute to compose myself. You coming in? Of course. I move to the side to give Monica enough space to enter. I thought she was gonna have her fucking eyes closed and mouth open for that entire time. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh god, she's frozen. <laughs> what, if, what, what have we done? <laughs> Once inside... Once inside, Monica makes herself cozy on the couch and- Sorry, I break bread something else. <laughs> Once inside, Monica makes herself cozy on the couch and sets her bag down next to her. Before I get the printer, do you want anything to drink? I clicked out of the game. <laughs> you sure? I'm already making you put up with me. It's really the least I can do. You're making it sound like I don't want to be here, Zero. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, I'm still surprised you wanted to help me, but I'm not complaining. She pauses for a moment. Besides, it's not that I'm putting up with you. I do want to be here. Monica's voice trails off rather shyly. It's like she wants to say something, but she's having trouble getting it out. It's fine, Monica. Anyways, about that drink. Is coffee fine with you? That'd be perfect. Thanks. That seems to lift her spirit. I then proceed to make my way out the way. Uh, I then proceed to make my way to the kitchen. To make Monica coffee. Oh, speaking of Monica, her internet's alive now. Hello. I'm live. <laughs> I'm live. Are you like ready to be like unmuted or like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I know you're eating. That's what I'm saying. What are you doing over here? <laughs> you know what I can hear you smonching. I'm not going to unmute you if you ain't even going to be munching. No, no, I don't hear it anymore. I was just saying. I was just saying if you're ready. All right. There you go. Uh, you didn't really miss much. Monica's here <laughs> at her, his house because he picked her because he's the uh, brood. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he didn't want to help anybody else, I guess. <laughs> Have to help. Why, why, why Within. Okay. <laughs> Think we finished it? No, I don't know. I, I couldn't remember. It doesn't do long till I finished up her drinks. As I leave them on the counter, I glance over at Monica. She's prepping the f the files for the pamphlets. I call over to her. Coffee's ready. I'll just get the printer. Thanks, Zero. I quickly rush upstairs. After some digging in my closet, I finally find the relatively dusty machine. I start to dust it off with a dirty towel, all while hoping the damn thing still works. I've not had to use it since second year, and even then it didn't see frequent use. I'm certain there's still ink in there from before. As I go to carry the printer downstairs, my ears are introduced to an unusually frustrated Monica. Damn it! I leave the printer on my bed and quickly head downstairs. What's the problem? Problems, more like. Okay, Monica's Monica's now d English. She's now a part of the EU. Uh -huh. Bl bloody thing froze on me. And it died. And to top it off... I forgot my charger. <laughs> Judging by her tone, she's trying to put a more lighthearted spin on her situation. Her expression, however, tells an entirely different story. Taking a sip of my coffee, a thought pops into my head. We've got the files backed up on USB, but you could easily print them upstairs. Monica giggles. This isn't just some ploy to get me into your bedroom, is it, Zero? I... Actually, yeah, wait, couldn't you just bring the printer downstairs? <laughs> Why does the printer have to be upstairs? It was in your closet, so clearly you could put it anywhere. <laughs> My face once again. Oh, God damn it! Stop! Mm. <laughs> Jackal demon references. Oh. 
By the way, sir, I'm out of coffee. Would you mind getting me some more? Uh, I'm kind of doing something, but you know what? Sure, let me just go get it. Be right back, guys. I gotta go get Libertina some coffee. Okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was really fast. Holy shit. The coffee was, it was pretty quick. <laughs> I guess you could say it was a it was a, 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 it was a cappuccino because they're fast. I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> My face once again goes caco demon red. No, no, it, it's not. Mean? Aside from Natsuki's comment the other day about me and Monica making club members, I've never been this embarrassed. Monica burst into laughter. Oh my god, your face is a picture right now. More teasing. Lovely. What does that mean? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> your face is a picture right now, Zero. Huh? <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm only messing with you. You know that, right? I nod. I know. I just never took you for the teasing type. You've known what? her for like, how long? Didn't he know her before? <laughs> I don't take you for the teasing type. Do you know her? See, this mod really could have worked better if they did not have history with one another. <laughs> yeah, what? Because also I'm like, if you had history with her, wouldn't you know that she's this, this type? This, this, this would have worked if he didn't know her. <laughs> My lord. You do look cute when you're flustered. What was that? Nothing. Let's just go upstairs. Monica, Monica dis dismisses my question quickly as we make our way up. Once in my room, I ask Monica for a USB. She passes it to me and I start to load the file and hook up the printer. Whilst I'm doing all that, Monica sits on my bed simply looking around. Your room's much cleaner than I thought it'd be. I do clean pretty, re pretty regularly. Plus, it'd be kind of rude not to, because obviously you were coming over. That sounded better in my head. You're very considerate. Th thanks, Monica. I smile back at her. Also, I've got the file up. It looks really professional, but my section's still blank. My voice trails off. Sorry, I forgot to send something over. You don't have to apologize. If you want, you can quickly type up one of your poems up. Or we could find the online one together. Find one online together. No pressure. I give the choice some thought. I decide to grab my notebook out of my bag and flick through the pages. My gaze then fixates on my poem, Horizon. That seemed to be received pretty well, so I decide to type that. Once finished, I save the file just in case my computer decides to act up. Glints over at Monica and her eyes fixate on each other for a moment. She suddenly averts her eyes with a noticeable red tint to her face. I can't explain it, but there's this sort of tense feeling when it's just the two of us. It's not a bad feeling at all, it feels more... more romantic, I suppose. S so, how many copies are we gonna need? I mean, the main document itself is six pages. And there's 24 desks in the club room. She thinks for a bit. That mean about 144. I'll just print, print 150 just to be sure. That should be enough. I set up the document for printing. Starts quite smoothly. Eventually, however, it soon starts to stall. On instinct, I slap the machine twice. Come on. Another pair of hits. Work, damn it! Didn't know you liked to be so rough. Monica giggles softly, causing the already present blush on my face to deepen. What she seems is to know this? I don't know. Okay, I've Hold just on. been. I'm very I'm, uncomfortable. I'm just reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading and I'm just like okay <laughs> my man hits the printer and she's like damn I didn't know you could be so rough and yeah like, I, I don't what? know I was just like I was <laughs> I was gonna let it slide but even then I was still like I'm not sure about that <laughs> just, what is with this mod and like the girls saying very like weirdly like kinky things for no reason like what like what? Why? Like that's not. Is this, is this mod trying to foreshadow that there's gonna be sex? 
I don't even know. It's like, because, like, between this and Natsuki, like, implying that him and Monica are going to have sex already, it just feels like, <laughs> like, they don't feel like the the girls. This feels like very just weird sexualized versions of <laughs> A lot of the girls in this mod are just really into sex, I guess, for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, that's what it just, it seems like. Because I'm like, I don't know if Monica would say that. And if she would say that, that would be to, like, you know, if they were already in, like, a relationship or something, then she would probably say it just to, you know, obviously to make him, like, like... It feels, like, feels like Monica's, like, coming on to him. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like, yes! That is exactly what it is. It's like, instead of just being a crush, it's making Monica feel like she's coming on to him. It's... <laughs> Like, it just feels odd. It's like, and it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it makes more sense if this was something where it's like, if they were already together, and this was just Monica's way of teasing him because she knew it was going to make him, like, just got it was going to make him nervous. But it's like, the fact they keep making them say these things to each other, and, like, they don't even know each other. Like, even Natsuki saying that shit, and, like, there's, like, the third it's day crazy. MC's been there. It's weird, yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Coming up is creepy. Yeah, it's like, it's a little, it's a little odd. Yeah, it's a Monica giggle softly, calling her very right. She seems to notice this. D did I say that out loud? Sorry. See, that's even like, what? <laughs> Why would she think that? <laughs> Why would Monica even think that? That's the other thing. It's yeah, like. Monica's fucking horny, dude. <laughs> so it's something where it's like, oh, it's, she didn't mean to say it. It's like, okay, but why would Monica be sitting here thinking that she's not even with him yet? This is the, it just makes it seem like she's just horny. Why is everyone so horny in this mod? <laughs> why is there horny? Everyone's so fucking horny in this mod, dude. It's not even just the MC. People who wrote this were horny. This is everybody, everybody in this mod is pent up. Yeah. You need to go rub one out or something, dude. We can barely look in each other. We can barely look each other in the eyes for a few mi for a few minutes. The room is silent, aside from the fans of my computer and the sounds of the printer. Those sounds seem stop, and the printer beeps. Good job, Monica. You made everything awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the small LSD display. Out of ink. Fucking great. As before, Monica notices my frustration, and her own expression seems to almost match it. The look in her eyes, however, carries the feeling of everything's going... Ev ev that means to be everything. Everything's going wrong. I get up from my desk. Hey, I'm just gonna get some water. Bring and step out the door. Your Monica shoot up from my bed, and she clings tightly to me, holding her head against my chest. M Monica? I fall silent as Monica's glassy eyes focus on mine. Fuck me. What is happening? What, what is what 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 what, what 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 is this what is happening? I don't I know. I feel like we're missing some steps here. I I do not know what's going. I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just been that I've been so stressed about the festival. I just really want to get it right. To my shock, Monica's started to cry, but I'm still able to make out her words clearly. Apparently hearing her cry on Thursday was one thing, but seeing it is another story entirely, especially this close. She's been working hard for the festival, probably a bit too hard, some would say. I need to see all this work go to waste. It takes me a while, but I soon wrap my arms around her in return. Again, I don't know how she's going to react to it, but at the same time, it just feels right. Monica's once a hastened breathing starts to slow. She makes a short, yet comfortable hum as she closes her eyes. Her hugs are warm and slightly relaxing, though I'm not entirely sure if that last part applies more to her than it does to me. I've taken notice that her shoulders have loosened a bit, and her breathing has returned to a steady pace. Do you want to head out front for a bit of fresh air? Monica pulls away from me, her arms still wrapped loosely around my waist. I think that'd be good for me. Thanks. She then wraps her arms, and we head outside. Once we're outside, Monica exhales loudly in relief. You okay? Yeah. She soon sighs. Sorry for freaking out back there. Monica, you don't need to apologize. But I'm just letting the smallest things get to me. 
Monica looks me deep in the eyes. I really want to get this right. I know you do, but... I stop as I try to think of how best to word this. It's taking a toll on you. That much is obvious. And honestly, I don't want to see you beat yourself up over things you can't control. There's a bit of silence. You're going to make the event great regardless of what happens. I promise that. Thanks. There's a bit more silence between us. It's a silence full of understanding. An idea then pops into my head. How about we go to the library and get them printed there? That sounds like a good idea. Monica beams at me. I start to step back inside. Let me get my jacket. Okay. Now we can... I really recommend you being in the parsec so you can tell when the... Like, what tone it is to talk. Because you're just hearing me talk, so that's why you were like... You probably didn't know that it was actually, like, a serious scene was happening. Because, <laughs> like, the music was playing and everything. So that's why I was like, you should probably join the parsec just so you can listen to the music. Oh, no, she's gone. I was giving her advice. <laughs> no! My advice has gone, gone on deaf ears. Anyway, though... Yeah, I don't know. That scene was weird. <laughs> Back to where the fuck was happening. So, like, alright. This could work, alright? All of this could work and everything. I get it. It's just... I think Monica was too quick to get upset, right? Because, like, only one thing went wrong. <laughs> like, it, like, if there... Like, I feel like this could have worked way better if it was, like, multiple things were going wrong. And then, you know, she gets, like, ultimately frustrated. Like, I don't think... It's weird because she's getting frustrated and she just really wants it to go well. Like, that's fine. That's understandable. But my point is, only, like, one thing went wrong and then she was, like, already upset. Like, it was, like, so quick. Like, I feel like they should have had a little bit more stuff. <laughs> also, you're back. You didn't hear my advice. <laughs> no, what? What? She's saying. I said you should probably join the Parsec so that you at least join the Parsec. You don't have to watch. I was like, at least you can listen so that you know, like, what what's actually, like, the timing of when you're able to speak so it can help you with yeah. that. Because that's where I was like, because, like, sad music was playing and everything. That's why I was, like, oh. trying to get done with the scene before I before I broke Sorry. it down. No, that's fine. I mean, obviously, like I so said, you wouldn't know. You were just listening to me talking. So you were just like, is this just a normal scene happening? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah, it's still, I was gonna say, it's like, it felt like kind of an overreaction from her. But to be fair, that's kind of like the entirety of this mod so far. Monica has been overreacting a lot. And it's like, alright, I get what they're trying to go for here, where it's like, Monica really wants to be perfect. But I'm starting to think it's a little exaggerated in this mod. Because like, yes, Monica is a perfectionist, but she's not to like, this degree, you know? Like, this mod is making her like, she's already cried twice. <laughs> yeah. Like that's where I'm like I feel like they're exaggerating her Perfectionist quality a little too much <laughs> To where I'm like It's not this bad <laughs> yeah, I'll say like, like, it, it, like it, It's a little too much I feel A little exaggerated Yeah okay it is exaggerated <laughs> Like you can still keep her Be a perfectionist and still want The festival to really go well But they're making it like if but the festival doesn't go well, Monica's gonna fucking die. <laughs> like that's yeah, yeah. like that's the way they're making her act, and I'm like, it's, just, it's like I feel like it's a little too much. Like it can't be that bad. Like the coffee machine not working on top of her dropping of top of her dropping papers on top of MC's parent not working, then she could have threw a tantrum. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you could have easily added like a lot of other stuff not working. She forgot to bring something, maybe. You know, it's like if they had a bunch of that shit compound onto it, then it would work way better. You know? But it's like they didn't do that. And I'm like, it's like yeah. she's like freaked out over like oh no, the printer's out of ink. <laughs> And she's the like, world is yeah, like, like for, it was really just the laptop and then the printer. That was the, it was two things. <laughs> she was like, I don't have my charger. And then it was like, oh, the printer isn't working. Well, the printer, I'm working. The printer's out of ink. And then she's like, I'm crying now. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and it was also like the, uh, the weird fucking, and then it was like the weird line where she's like, I didn't mean to say it aloud, sorry. And then it was awkward again. That's another thing I've already had a problem with this mod. Most of Monica and MC scenes, they keep saying they're romantic, but half the time these people spend on scene to spend fucking time together on fucking camera, it's just fucking, or on screen, it's just fucking awkward. They have more awkward moments than they have like regular light moments between each other.
And Monica's shyness, I feel like, to a degree, is starting to get to Yuri levels. <laughs> like, I understand her being shy. That makes sense, because she likes him. But some of these things are starting to, like, for me, a little bit, it's starting to get to the level where I'm like, I feel like this is something Yuri would do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. This one's obviously a little bit more of a, like, an eh problem. It's not that big of an issue, but I don't know. Sometimes I get the feeling where I'm like, they're making her, like, way too shy. <laughs> but then you make her say things like... I didn't know you like it so rough. And then back to being instantly shy. It's like, what? Huh? <laughs> what is she? <laughs> like, she's just switching between, like, saying things out of pocket to then being super shy about it. Maybe it's Yuri in disguise. I knew it. Yuri finally invented that flesh suit. I quickly rush upstairs and pick out the first jacket I can find. My usual black pleather jacket. So, like, is pleather a thing, or did it... <laughs> or is that a typo? <laughs> Let me look it up. I was, I was like, Ple pleather's a thing, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's plastic leather. That's what I was like, because I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, but, like... <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. I'm so surprised at how good of a condition it's in. Yeah, I fetch my wallet. Can't really get this sorted out without my member card. A thought crosses my head, but I instantly suppress it. No, oh, that'd be awkward. This isn't a date. Zero, you okay up there? Monica calls from downstairs. Yeah. And then head back downstairs. Monica is waiting for me with both a smile and slightly red cheeks. You ready to go? I return her smile. She nods and we head off. To the library. <laughs> the walk to the library is mostly a quiet one, aside from some small talk. See... That's the, I think that's the problem. They don't, they just say they have small talk and then they don't ever show it. <laughs> like they'll be like when they're earlier, they were like, we, we texted about synthesizers all like all night, but then they don't show them talk about synthesizers. I'm like, we need to see this stuff. <laughs> cause if we don't, cause right now, like I said, the only scenes we get to see is like little moments of them actually talking. And then there's just awkward silences just constantly. <laughs> I was like, we need to see more of them actually communicating. <laughs> bet they're going to run into Yuri. <sighs> Ooh, that's probably, that's a pretty safe bet. If it's a library, Ooh. yeah, probably. The silence between those brief moments of conversation isn't as awkward as I worried it would be. On the contrary, it's honestly quite comforting. Out of the corner of my eye, I can notice Monica taking small glances at me. But I don't bring attention to her for the sake of keeping the comforting atmosphere from shifting. Oh, that's where you put the word. <laughs> <laughs> Zero meets Monica. They make small talk. They make some pamphlets and they fall in love. The end. <laughs> Within a bridge. <laughs> we soon make it to the library and enter, searching for the nearest computer, which thankfully doesn't take us long. I take a seat and start logging in whilst Monica takes a seat between me, between me and a nearby window. As I'm preparing the file to print the pamphlets, I realize that I can't remember how many sheets Monica said we need. It's 150. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the story now. <laughs> hey, how many sheets did you say we... My voice comes to a halt as I, look over, as I look over at Monica. She's gazing out the window, seemingly lost in a daydream. My eyes then follow... What? What? what where, where did... What? What? My eyes then follow down her arm and discover that she's resting her head. <laughs> Wait. She's resting her hand on my thigh. Without a word or a second thought, I gently rest my hand on top of hers and smile gently to myself. After a minute like this, Monica looks back at me and returns my smile, not even noticing that our hands are touching. What is happening? <laughs> Why is everything so horny? <laughs> Why are they like wh why are you doing this in the library? <laughs> why didn't we save this for like when they were at home? Ma'am, this is a Wendy's <laughs> Ma'am <laughs> So I was like, why did they wait to do this at the library? I feel like this would have made more sense if they did it at home. Monica would not do that at the library. <laughs> yeah, she'd Ma be like don't touch me. <laughs> Not don't touch me. I think yeah, I was say Monica would. Have, and if she would, again, I feel like it's someone she'd already be confirmed in a relationship with. Like some of these things, I feel like, in my opinion, just feel odd to do when they're not even together. 
Like, that's my problem, I think, with a lot of these scenes. If this entire scene happened and they were already together, I would have no issues with, all of the, with a lot of this. Because it would make sense to a degree. Because I'd be like, alright, they're lovey, whatever, you know? They like yeah. each other. They're already confirmed to be in a relationship, sure. But it's like, they're not yet. <laughs> you know? How many people are going to the library with their crush and puts their hand on their thigh? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't do it. I would get smacked. <laughs> or, like, or it's, or it's like, let's say, it's like, or, or fucking, or for, it's like, or I doubt, no girls are gonna do that to the fucking guy they have a crush on. Like, that's something like, you don't, no crushes do that. That's so forward. <laughs> it is very forward. So I'm like, especially in a library. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's just, it's so, they're filming porn, obviously. <laughs> so I'm like, it's just like, what is happening? After a minute like this, Monica looks back at me and returns my smile. Not even noticing that our hands are touching. Maybe she was fully aware of what she was doing? What are you asking again? Not once the smile leave her radiant face. I just wanted to ask how many sheets we need. I kind of forgot. Well, I... Her eyes flick downwards and she finally, finally notices her hands. We retract our hands and look away from each other, blushing profusely. <laughs> Sorry, I just faced out. Delivery doesn't carry the certainty she was trying to give off. Monica, it's fine. Besides, isn't spacing out supposed to be my job? Sometimes I gotta fill in for you in that department. She giggles cutely. She, she giggles cutely. Oh, and you said you're printing 150. I nod as I begin the process. How do you do that while spacing out? I'm pretty sure it's implied that she wasn't spacing out. That's why he said uh, her delivery doesn't carry the certainty she was trying to give off. So yeah, it, the, the idea is she did it intentionally, basically. <laughs> Again, there. <laughs> Give the sheer amount of paper needed. The printing process takes a good few minutes. Whilst we wait, both Monica and I make timid, flustered glances at each other. Cause that's all we make. That, 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 that's their entire relationship, apparently. <laughs> For all the pages are printed, I decide to buy a cheap folder to keep them all together. Once we have everything sorted, we make our way into, all out back onto the street. See, but then it's like, it's weird because it's like, why are they making those glances? They could have at least talked about synthesizers again. <laughs> what about the synthesizers? <laughs> it isn't too long till my stomach rumbles. Maybe I should have had a little bit more for breakfast. Hey, Monica. Yeah? I'm feeling kind of hungry. Do you mind if we find somewhere to eat? Of course, I don't mind. In fact, I know a place that's pretty close by. In that case, you lead the way. After a relatively short walk, we find ourselves in a cafe. The radio plays a soft tune, and the atmosphere itself seems quite cozy. Monica sure got a good eye for places like these. Like this. We seat ourselves at a booth near the main window of the place. My eyes scan the menu. The prices seem pretty standard. Nothing too cheap. Nothing overly expensive. I'm gonna say this right now. I hate this fucking song. <laughs> it's oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to whoever made this. I really am, but it's not good. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm not a. I'm not a. Oh it's yeah, so I'm not. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Ooh. I thought I didn't know they were gonna include the DDLC theme in it. I thought it was just. I was like, I heard it. I was like, this song feels fine, and then they added your reality into it and i'm like oh no yeah i don't Literally know check that out and it, the song's probably fine yeah I like i like the the normal beat of the song without the your reality the your reality does not work with whatever the hell this is supposed to be yeah it's like really off tune it's another daft punk song remixed oh okay that's probably then they just put Ugh. your reality into a daft punk song yeah no that does not work that's why <laughs> 
Well, thank you for a thousand bits, Rage Bob. I'm starting to people like this mod because of how horny the girls are. I don't know. It could be they just like the mod because they just want a mod that lets you date Monica. Which, to be fair, like I said, this does meet that criteria. <laughs> if all you really want is a date Monica mod, then yeah, it definitely meets that. Yeah. Thank you for the resub, Natsuki. 39 months in a row. I want cake. Um, I hope you could find some. <laughs> <laughs> See anything you like? Uh, I'll probably get the chicken and white rice. I know, I'm, I know, I'm basic as hell. For some reason, it seems to get a chuckle from Monica. Oh, Zero. You're a lot of things, but basic certainly isn't one of them. Monica gazes out the window, a sly smile forming on her lips. I'm only passing in silence, but the silence only broken by the sounds of the kitchen and radio. So, you want to come with me to order? Of course. We go up to the counter together and order our food. Wait, why are they both going up? Why don't you just tell... Wait, what? Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <just> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Monica ended up ordering a salad. I was insistent on paying, something that she was ready to protest, until realizing that I was the only one of us that brought any money. <sighs> the look at her face suggests she doesn't mind that. She doesn't mind it, though. Return to the booth, then begin the wait. See, I don't know. I don't like... I don't like that. Like, because this mod does this a lot, and I'm not sure if I like that or not. If you like this, then that's fine. I don't like that this mod sometimes just describes things happening without letting oh, yeah. them happen. Like, I don't know. I don't like that. Like, I don't yeah, like that like, it's... They be detailed about, like, the weirdest things, and then, like, the things that they could be detailed about, they just don't. Yeah, like, this could have easily had, like, a scene. Like, the, I was insistent on paying something she was ready to protest or realizing I was the only one of us that brought any money. Look at her, she suggests she doesn't it's, mind I think it, though. They wanna, it's like the only one to write, like, the, the, the flirty scenes or whatever. Yeah, it's like, you didn't have to rush past that. It wouldn't take that long, and it'd be, like, cute to watch, you know? It's like, that'd be a nice yeah. scene. Tell not show is what keep happening. Yeah, as I was, it was. As I was like, I want, I want to actually see it. Prepare us, us to start a more lively conversation during the wait. We end up going from the festival and music to what we've been up to since the second year. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is like. We could be having these conversations! <laughs> like, why is it just skipping over them? <laughs> I don't know. Like, too much telling, not enough showing. Yeah, that's what my problem is. Yeah, it's like, we could be having these conversations with her. This will give them more of a dynamic with each other. This will give them more chemistry. I don't like just reading about what probably happened. It's like I'm reading an episode recap. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I was like. I feel like this could easily be fixed by just giving, just by just by adding these. I was like, cause it's like I want to read these. Now it seems like mere nostalgic reminiscing until, you know, Zero. I've missed talking to you like this. Honestly, I have too. Like, you got more in common than I realized. Monica's cheeks adopt a red haze that fades as quickly as it appeared. Maybe there's more to it than that. She whispers, but I'm able to hear what she says. I... I look down and notice our hands are touching once again. However, upon looking up, Monica's gaze meets mine. Unlike when this happened back at the library, she appears fully aware of what she's doing. Monica? Zero. Her certain tone silenced me. My heart is pounding harder than ever before. Her face fills my vision, and the one thing I can focus on are her eyes. In a way, I'm reminded of a song from my childhood. Pretty green eyes, so full of sparkle and such light. <laughs> Give the dubstep for this awesome moment. That took me off guard. <laughs> yeah. I like, I looked in my right earphones like, <laughs> Like, like, okay. <laughs> There's been something I've wanted to tell you. For a while now. She moves to interlock really? my fingers with her own. Her touch is warm. Despite the growing blush in her face, her confidence doesn't falter. Is this... Is this really happening? It's been something I've been holding in for a while. It wasn't until recently that I discovered that it never left me. My 
I slightly tighten my grip on her hand. I'm listening. Monica giggles cutely. God, it feels like something out of a cheesy movie. She pauses and averts her gaze, if only for a moment. Well, the truth is that I'm in the... Monica's then suddenly cut short by some knocks on the window, followed by two distinctly familiar voices. Mm. The pair of us look into the glass, and, to my surprise, it's Sayori and Natsuki. Damn, we were wrong. We thought Yuri was going to interrupt their fucking thing at the library. It turns out it was Sayori and Natsuki. I can't clearly make out what either of them are saying, but they've quickly started going towards the cafe entrance. On instinct, both Monica and I retract our hands, and our eyes avert away from one another. Okay, I feel like this doesn't have to be said, just because <laughs> I feel like it was obvious from the reaction, but yeah, that song did not go with that scene, in my opinion. <laughs> the dubs, like, again, it was something where I was like, okay, they're getting the nice music for the confession, and then the dubstep showed up, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's definitely a thing that is happening at the moment. Uh, oh, 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 my heavens. <laughs> oh, my heavens. I'm like, that 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 does not fit for me. I don't know. Yeah, that was like, I, I, um, I think the problem is dubstep doesn't really fit with a lot of things. A lot of moments, I think, is the issue. Because, well, like, yeah. I really can't think of many scenes where you can really use dubstep and it will sound okay unless you're like, in a club, <laughs> like they're like, and I mean a club, like a dancing club, <laughs> like a club, or like at like an arcade, maybe. Like I can't really think of many scenes where you can have dubstep and it'll be like make sense with a scene. What do you mean dubstep is romantic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Monica, I love you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Fucking Darude Sandstorm played when I first told my <laughs> girlfriend I loved her. <laughs> no, I, I remember what was playing. Electronic dance music is the only good dubstep. I kind of expected this instead. I kind of expected this instead, honestly. It's like I, it's like it was starting off good, and then the dubstep kicked in. <laughs> but yeah, so you were expect? Oh, so this guy, this guy I was expecting this. Oh, you, Rex, you were expecting them to be interrupted. I don't know. I thought they were going to fully go through with it. But yeah, I mean, I get they, they baited me. They got me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> or like a very electronic, or like a, or like a fight. Yeah, was, yeah like you can use it for like a fight scene, I guess. Yeah, that could work. But yeah, uh-oh. We were cock-blocked by the other girls. <laughs> hey, you two. So he's the first to come over. She smiles us both before taking a seat next to me. I knew there was another reason why I wanted to help Monica Zero. Asuka comes in soon after and takes a seat next to Monica. You're way too predictable. N no, it's not. I'm at a loss for words. What are you two doing here anyways? I could ask you the same thing. Asuka pouts in frustration. We ran out of some of the, we ran out of some of the ingredients we needed and decided to get them. Then I got hungry. It's good seeing Sayori back to her usual self. Then we went past here, and we saw new Monica holding hand. Sayori stops herself as she notices Monica, who hasn't said a word since either of them joined us. You okay, Monica? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Just gotta use the bathroom one sec. Monica hurriedly gets up and excuses herself for rushing over to the cafe's restroom. Okay, so I'm also gonna say this. So, okay, so Sayori and Natsuki both saw that they were holding hands. I don't know. This is like slowly, <laughs> like you know how usually when these scenes happen in like stories, they usually have the characters show up and they didn't know like something serious was gonna happen, so they were like. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. You know, like, they thought, like, they didn't know there was gonna be, like, something this serious was going on. So, they yeah. could feign ignorance. You know, it's ignorance. But, this, it's like, they clearly knew something was happening. This is just kind of Sayori and Natsuki being assholes? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, they're, this is just them. Like, even Say Sayori knows that we like Monica. And Natsuki keeps talking about it, so this is just them being terrible friends. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah, this is just malicious at this point. Like, what? <laughs> what <Yeah>. is this? 
Like, this went from Natsuki playfully teasing to Natsuki just kind of being a dick. <laughs> And even Sayori is also being, again, a terrible friend. These people are, are terrible. <laughs> How can the side stories happen in this universe? <laughs> a quick glance, I got her face. She looked utterly embarrassed. Her mind replays what she was saying before she was cut off. She can't have been trying to... Oh my god. She was, wasn't she? My voice turned into a grumble as I placed my hands over my face in my own embarrassment. The memories of everything that led up to this moment swirl around in my head. Fuck, it seems so obvious now. Why didn't I notice it sooner? I... I really am dense, aren't I? Um, Zero? Zero's voice sends my hands slowly back to the table, but I stay silent. Yeah? I just dart nervously between Natsuki and Sayori. As Natsuki looks like she's wondering what drugs I'm on, Sayori gives me a knowing, slightly regretful smile. Looks like she's realized what was going on. Zero? Guys, no. Natsuki's tone reaffirms her confusion. Sayori glances at her, only adding to it. Sayori, what the hell's going on? Sayori stands up and quickly goes over to Natsuki and starts whispering. Judging by her expression, she seems to be relaying everything about me and Monica. What? But I thought it was obvious! What? Huh? What it what is happening? <laughs> I thought, but Natsuki's literally the person to be like, it's obvious that you two like each other. So why does Sayori have to inform her of this? What? What is happening? I'm so confused. How many how many writers are on this project? One! Communicate with each other. This is one! What? This is one writer! As far as I'm aware, this is one writer. There is no team on this. There's not a team. This is one. This is one writer. So this isn't a multiple writer thing. Maybe he for. It's probably a kind of case of forgetting. Like maybe it's yeah. like they forgot that they already made Natsuki know. But like most of Natsuki's dialogue was Natsuki saying shit like it's obvious that you two like each other. Like what would Sayori be informing her of? Of. <laughs> Better her saying it, saying it than me struggling to get it out. Not to expression shifts from ones that say, I knew it, to ones of utter disbelief. After Sayori finishes, she sits back down next to me, and Natsuki has a moment before she looks straight at me. Was she really gonna... Voice trails off as I nod, silently confirming what she's just been told. See, and that's the other thing. Even if it's something where it's like, oh, we didn't know that you guys were gonna confess. Regardless of that, interrupting... They said they saw they were holding hands... So, they were holding hands, looking closely into each other's eyes. You still interrupted that. So, it's like, <laughs> you're still assholes. <laughs> Even if it's like, oh, well, if she was gonna confess, then we weren't gonna say anything. Even if it wasn't a confession, they still did a dick move. <laughs> like, it's still, a it's, it's still a dick thing to do. <laughs> she sighs. I know I teased you about that, but if I knew what that was going on, I'm sorry. Natsuki, it's fine. The blush doesn't leave my cheeks. I had no idea that she... Sorry, pats me on the back. Hey, if you don't want to make a big deal out of this, that's okay. Natsuki nods in agreement, her eyes still seemingly full of regret. She's honestly got nothing to be sorry about. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. They are. Uh, they both do. Like literally. I'm not like also, letting them get away with this. <laughs> also, this song has been playing for way too fucking long. Well, it's because we've been here for so long. <laughs> but. <laughs> but it's uh, to be fair. It's also kind of a sad. I guess a semi sad moment. But even I feel like sad music wouldn't really fit here. So this is kind of fine, I suppose. I still like mm -hmm. the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. She got nothing to be sorry. Uh, and it was a lie. <laughs> It's not like she was. It's not like she was meant to know that Monica was going to ask. I already talked about this. <laughs> I sure, as, I sure as hell didn't expect it. The ten silence is then broken by Monica coming back to join us. Sorry, I took so long. Monica takes a seat next to Natsuki. So, Sayori, how did the prep with Yuri go? Monica's demeanor has completely shifted from when we'd last seen her. It almost feels like she's trying to put aside what happened to not make the situation awkward. It went great. I promised I wouldn't spoil anything, but we think you guys are going to love it. In that case, I look forward to it. As do I. 
Masky ops for a wide, toothy grin instead of words. Sarah and Natsuki didn't stay for much longer. They left not long after mine and Monica's food arrived. My best guess is they decided to eat somewhere else. Either that, or they'll be best to give us some time alone. Of course, I'm not complaining. Our time with Monica is always welcome. Especially with food as good as this. Natsuki didn't easily recognize what they were, what, what they were acting before, but also thought slowly she had to be easily confused. It's like, I don't even understand... <laughs> Because, like, it's something where it's, like... Because Natsuki's teasing. I, I want to talk about this before we get to here. Because they also know that... Because I didn't mean, mean to talk about this. Because they're, like... Natsuki was, like, well, I just was just teasing you guys. I didn't know. It's, like, she wasn't... It wasn't the same kind of type of teasing, though. She was saying things, like, it's obvious that you guys like each other. <laughs> if it's obvious, that means Natsuki firmly believes that they like each other. So then why would she then be surprised to be, like, oh, my God, they actually like each other? <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. If you're gonna make her tease, make her say different things then. Because it made it seem like Natsuki knew that they liked each other. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's like nothing saving that scene of like them just being assholes. They're not good friends. <laughs> they're, they are assholes. <laughs> so far, that's like Sayori's like second terrible thing that she's done as a friend. The first was telling Monica secret to MC. <laughs> And then the second was fucking barging in when they knowing the clearly that they like each other. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's like the second thing she's done. These are terrible friends. 